top of the morning. Top of the morning, y'all. Run it for a little minute. I'm going to be on here long this morning. So wake y'all ass on up. Wake on up, let's talk about some shit. Cause uh brother hit me up last night, man. In fact, let me hit this extract real quick. Brother hit me up last night, man. I said, man, uh, it's that time, family. It really is. So, y'all see the title for the day. It's been a minute since I went live. Been busy, man. Trying to learn new skills. So when I get into this new this new world, we're gonna be set, right? <clears throat> so we gotta learn, we gotta learn how to deal versus just trauma bonding. Cause uh man, a lot of people they waking up on the same shit every day, not realizing what time it really is and what do i mean about trauma bonding okay so it's a lot man it's really a lot i said i ain't gonna be on your long uh so trauma bonding you know because like i said the brother your brother hit me up last night and um First he called me, you know what I'm saying, through the messenger or whatnot, and uh, hung up. So I hit him back, you know, I was at work, and um, hit him back up, and he's like, man, what's up, how you doing, man? And I was like, sure, I'm doing good, man. Like, you know, I'm doing good, bro, what's up? You got a question or what, right? You got a question or what? You had a question to ask me. Because it's like, man, like I said, most people that do hit me up, you know, they get straight to what they, you know, what they want to ask me. But, uh, hung up on me. And I was like, okay. So, but this somebody new, you know what I'm saying? It was somebody new. Most of y'all on here know, you know, y'all y'all want to get in contact with me. Y'all know how to. But don't just hit me up if you just want to talk on some bullshit that's going on in the world. You know, you want to talk about Trump. You want to talk about all these, all the shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? We can, we can talk about this shit all day. But we need to understand that if we, we it's, it's, it's time over for the trauma bonding. You got people spending hours and hours online uh, watching DJs play music. Trauma bonding. You trying to, instead of trying to deal with reality as what it is with right now. A lot of people trying to, you know, trying to fake it, you know. They trying to run from the reality that's being presented. And that's cool. But please do not try to just hit me up. Want to talk about some problems, you know. We all got certain kind of problems. We all got something going on in our lives. 
but we have to learn how to deal with what's going on with our lives. We ain't got to deal with what, you know, we ain't got to deal with the everyday drama that's being presented to us. It's all a distraction at the end of the day, huh? Right? But this trauma bonding shit is getting way out of hand. If it ain't people listening to um, DJs, they 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 going crazy with these memes, and you know waking up on this shit every day, right? You gotta learn how to deal with it. You might be bored as fuck. Maybe your soul wants you to be bored so you can really, truly wake up and become conscious. You know. For real, y'all. And it's getting to the point where, like I said, I can't deal with people, you know. You fuck with me, you fuck with me. But don't, you know. Don't try to just, you know, you take that advantage and just hit me up if you ain't really got nothing to talk about. But the same bullshit, the bullshit that's going on. You know, we can sit here and talk about all this stuff. We could talk about how how the dead body they just throwing up in the uh, fucking back of the U-Haul. This the apocalypse, the awakening. That's what the apocalypse mean. You know, that's what red, you know, Hey, bro. Everybody that know what's really going down, playing it cool. Staying focused on what they really going to do. Because once we come up out this thing and you ain't got no type of uh, passive income coming in for yourself or whatnot, you're gonna be dependent on the government for the to this stuff over with. We don't you don't we don't know when it's gonna be over, right? It ain't over till they come on the news and say it's over, right? We gotta use our minds and our soul. And so another form of trauma bonding, people just trying to play it off, right? <clears throat> And play it off and just, you know, immerse themselves deeper and deeper into distractions. Right now, I wake up, man, I ain't even, I barely get to sleep, right? I barely want to eat anymore. That's how tired I am. People talking about they tired of cooking. Shoot, I don't even want to eat no more. I'm sitting up here fasting them a whole week and shit. Because we fighting against the, your higher self and your lower nature. The ego want to survive, so the ego feel threatened. So everybody want to trauma, trauma bond instead of deal with the real reality or fix what they got to fix in their reality. And if you feel like you don't have, you have nothing you got to fix, cool. <clears throat> Some people running away thinking that's the answer. Can't run away from this, man. You got to face it head on. You know, you got to face it head on. So I'm like I said, I'm willing to connect with people. Hit me up if you got a question. If you got a, uh, you got something on your mind, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like that, but don't waste my time. Cause, Cause right now, time is the only thing that's essential to me, you know? Even though I'm still making my money, you know, a little bit what money they let me make, you know what I'm saying? I see what's really, you know, true to me now. Because cause you get the money, you ain't, you can't go do nothing with it, but pay your bills and fucking uh, go get what you need for the house. You, ain't, you can't do nothing else. The club closed, right? All the other stores closed. So, you got to learn how to deal with what's going on. 
Now, if that's how you deal with what's going on, you waking up every day worrying about this shit, you are going you going to go crazy. And that's what's wrong. People trying to fake and act fake the funk, you know. <clears throat> and they the ones that's crazy. See, I know when I got into my consciousness fully waking up and man just just really understanding how I feel and you know, like I like I've been getting my readings. Like y'all Y'all need to understand that. I've been getting my reading so I can understand. Because understanding yourself is the most important thing right now at this time. Why you got time? The motherfuckers can't turn off the TV. Can't turn off the phone. Uh, can't stop listening to the music. Uh, what else? You go on all day. But you trying to, you trauma, you trauma bonding. Because you don't want, you fighting with how you truly feel. So I've been mainly getting readings. So, you know, my first reading I had got um, was my Akashic reading. And you can, you can go, uh, basically go get you a reading, man. Right now is the best time to get you a reading to see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Cause as the, cause all of the uni, all of the energy of the universe is coming down to the earth, and so motherfuckers don't understand why they, why they, why they feeling the way they feeling. You gotta master that energy. You gotta master that energy. And so my Akashic reading was deep, you know. Um, Dr. Aline Mel Bay wife, you know, she, hey, she the truth. We all the truth, though. We all got these gifts. But if you stuck on the everyday distractions, how, how can you tap into your spiritual gifts? How can you, you know, really tap into the unseen? So, uh, after I got that reading, that was like a month ago. I think about down there about a month ago. I had got another one, uh, which was um damn, can't even remember. Which was my oh, uh, I got the Akashic reading. No, I got the chart first. I got my chart reading first, then I backdoored and got uh, the Akashic reading. Then this recent reading that I'm getting next is for, you know, the 18th month thing. You know what I'm saying? I always get one every 18 months, you know, but this time I got it through um, Dr. Eileen Bay's uh, wife. And so this next one going to be real powerful because it's going to, you know, basically lay out, you know, all the things, because you got to remember shh, what all y'all talk about. We all talk about the retrogrades and all that shit, but it's only you. You know what I'm saying? In the last reading, I was just drop mouth drop because I was like, damn, I got a lot of. I, it's already shit that I already knew. It's just confirmation, right? To basically keep me on my path and become a better me. Not trying to become a better human. Fuck being human, right? Trying to become a better me. And so, man, there was a lot of stuff going on in this last one I had just got, man, I damn near cried a few times, man. Cause it just laid out everything for me. Like, okay, I'm this great person, right? But because of certain things that done happened to me and certain people that done came in and out of my life, right? That shit I got to fix on. I'm going to keep going around, you know what I'm saying, with a hard heart, right? 
thinking about, you know, who really, who cares, right? You got to get to the point where you believe in yourself and just be you. Fuck everybody else. Bottom line, you got to be you. Everybody, like, you know, everybody ain't going to understand you. You weren't meant to be understood by everybody. Real talk. Especially if you going to be in this spiritual thing, on this spiritual path all the way. You know, because some people got their foot in and out, you know. You got to make your decision, you know. Some people sacrifice their spiritual callings for, you know, lesser things, earthly things, material things. And then wonder why they so hurt. You just gonna have to learn how to deal with the hurt and the pain. I know it fucking hurts, right? But what feeling is, you know, what feeling is more real than 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 pain? That's gonna push you. That's gonna eventually elevate you to your higher self, back to your higher thoughts. And I know I'm no I'm connecting because like I said, I don't be you know I don't I don't even do what I used to do. Like I done stopped drinking and everything. Stop smoking and everything. And I'm like, damn, what's going on with body rejecting this shit? Cause it's tired. Tired of, you know, looking for his scapegoats, you know what I'm saying? Tired of looking for, you know, temporary releases then I'm right back feeling like how I'm feeling again and so it was dropping a lot of things I said damn man all the shit that I was letting cause I was letting motherfuckers come in you know come into my, my reality and, and try to force that shit on me we already talked about it last time you know People, people feel like, oh, if you, you don't believe what I believe, you don't do what I do, we not the same. When it's crazy, right? Yeah, we not the same, but who is the same around this motherfucker? Everybody got some kind of pain they don't deal with that got them acting a certain way. That got they, you know, got their guard up. You know, and so it was one one part of in, in the reading where she was breaking it down like basically, dude, you got so much fucking energy, so much dynamic energy inside of you, and if you don't learn how to use it, it's gonna eventually make you sick. So back to what I was saying, all of the power of the universe is coming down to the earth. And if you don't know how to use that fucking energy, you getting wiped out. You gonna you gonna catch the COVID-19 or the coronavirus, whatever y'all wanna call it. You know? And so I was like, damn. So I gotta keep, you know, keep staying consistent, keep using my energy to attract that energy to bring it down positive. Right? Positive energy. We've been dealing with the negative all our lives. You done grew up in fucked up families. Your friends done turned your back on you. You know, fucked up relationships where motherfuckers swear up and down, you know what I'm saying? They respect you and love you, right? But you say one thing they don't like. They cut your fuck ass off. That ain't that ain't that ain't unconditional. That's conditional love, and that's what this world has been basically ran off. Conditional love. Think about all the people that's that's that 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 don't know what when they going back to work or or if they going back to work. But they can change that all in their mind. 
Because your mind is more powerful than anything that you fucking looking at on this round. And so, forget all the trauma bonding. If you're going to hit me up, don't just hit me up with some problems, man. Or thinking I'm just going to be, you know, listening to that shit. And we ain't, we ain't trying to really, you know, figure out how to deal with these problems. Because everybody trying to run from their little problems. I'm facing mine's head on regardless. Because I know I got something that's watching over me. And that's my true self. And I know it ain't going to let me bump, bump my head ac across the wall like that. Shit, I had more hell when I was in the church. I'm trying to tell you. I had more hell when I was in the church. Versus now. You know? Now it's like, shit, I can rock by myself. You know? You don't like me? Cool. I'm okay. But I know I love me, and so I love the soul family. But a lot of us don't know we got to switch some shit up, man. We can't be on this same shit every day. Same shit every day. Motherfuckers still out here taking selfies and shit. Don't nobody want to see that shit, man. Okay? You love yourself. You okay? Less selfies. And let's get some more knowledge. Let's figure out how we going to build this new world. Because America basically saying you either gonna you either going to be in it to help us build it or we just going to take care of your ass and you ain't going back to work. That's how I see it. You got to fight. You got to fight for what you want. But, but you know, it's hard because you want, because like Ken said, you got to set traps because because everything you want is always running away from you. You always chasing it. You always chasing. It. Uncle Bobby talk about it. all. He talked about it all the time. We, we chasing the material. We chasing the illusion. Then when we get where we think we 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 want to be, we still ain't happy. That's why I said I ain't looking for shit. Motherfuckers losing their mind, going bored, right? They don't know what to do with themselves. You better find you some type of skill that's gonna pay your motherfucking bills where you can still have more bread put up, right? That's what I'm on right now. Thanks to, you know, the soul family, brother, you know, brothers, the pillars, everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's really trying to give us solutions and not just fucking looking at these fucking problems. You're going to go crazy. Some of them are already lost it, but they trying to play cool, and that's why they letting their ego come forth more versus tapping into the inner soul going within ain't nothing wrong with it but if you're scared you're gonna keep looking for ways to keep blaming right all the gen all the, all the conflicts that's going on between relationships so, uh, you know some people say they 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 relationships getting better but majority of the people that's in america right now can vouch that they they going through it, you know what I'm saying, with their family, kids wilding, and they can't figure it out. Can't figure it out. And Uncle Bobby talked about that. Some of us don't need need kids. Think about all the people that's that's fucking pregnant or getting pregnant, and 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 basically the the damn hospitals telling that hey. We can't do nothing for you. You gonna have to have that baby at the house. Huh? You gonna have to have your baby at the house. We got a pandemic going on. So y'all think about that shit, man. Right now at this time, like I said, it's time to cut out the bullshit, for real. For real, man. For real. 
we can laugh and you know what I'm saying, joke and stuff, but it come to a point where it's time to turn that shit off and start really trying to deal with what's going on. Because motherfuckers think it's worse now. You ain't seen it, man. Uh, another brother had posted on, tried to hit me up. Like, man, don't give up, man. Just because I'm talking about the end of the world and I'm talking about this shit, this is my calling. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is what Christ did, right? The biblical Christ did, right? He came down here and talked about the end times. That's what, that's what he did, right? And motherfuckers didn't want to hear that shit. So, say people don't know, man. A lot of people don't know who you are. A lot of people don't know who you truly are. Mm-hmm. And that's cool. I know this is just a, a suit, an illusion. Because the real me on a whole nother level. And I feel it. Thoughts just be coming to me. I, damn. I be trying to make sure I write that shit down. Because once that shit go, never know when it come back. Right now is the time to be thinking about starting your own business. Talking about something unique, something different, something new. Not the same old shit. Because that's what got us where we at now. Everybody trying to do the same shit. So, yeah, like I said, man, uh, it's just getting to that time where, the, where you're going to have to really dig deep and pull you one idea. It ain't got to be a list of ideas. One idea. Like, y'all know I do the music, but that's I've been doing this shit all my life, for those who know. I've been doing this shit since I was 13. But I, I, I ain't looking for no record deal. I got my, I, I signed my fucking self. You know, got my own fucking label. But I have to promote myself, right? I have to put in the work. Like uh, in the reading, it was talking about how I, you know, when people don't catch the wave, I kind of get down a little bit, right? But now I see... I just got to say, fuck these motherfuckers. I believe in me. I don't need nobody else to believe in me. Because I done had, you know, multiple opportunities that I, I could have took and fucked up some too. But that's just life, man. You fall down nine times, you get up ten. Don't let this government and this bullshit handicap you. To where you wasting your time. It's going back to what we were saying earlier. The only thing that's essential right now is your time. Your time. You got people out here dying. They just throwing these people in the back of a fucking U-Haul. These people been dead fucking months. Huh? These people been dead for months. And you wasting your time. Value your time. Right? Value the people that's around you. Everybody got fucking flaws. Ain't nobody perfect. But the motherfuckers that's acting perfect, them the ones that I'm talking about that's fucking crazy. Because they won't accept the fact that they got flaws. They got shit they need to work on. But they rather blame it on other people. Blame it on, blame, you know... Got men blaming fucking women. Mad at women, right? Got, got women mad at men. We all we got, and we ain't even got each other. Hmm? Hmm? We all we got, and we ain't even got each other. Ain't that some shit? But we sitting around waiting on what, the, what Trump gonna say. What Bill Gates going to do? Uh, 5G. Uh, population control. It's time to cut it out, man. It really is.
That's why I say the shit be hurting me, cuz. But I had to let it go. You know, that bleeding heart. I was born with that shit, right? I was born with it. Until a point where motherfuckers started fucking me over. And so, I started fucking over people that I love, too. And so, we have to break this. We have to break down and deal with our trauma. It's okay for trauma bonding, right? Everybody needs somebody to listen to, right? Everybody needs somebody to talk to. But we not just want to be worried and fixing on this the, 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 the everyday bullshit. Because you're wasting your time. People out here dying. So, man. I appreciate everybody, man. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's been timing in and that's been uh, sharing sharing our information. It's our information, right? But take that shit and do something really with it. Stop trying to wake motherfuckers up. You know? Stop waking, trying to wake people up. The time for waking people up is over. Motherfuckers dying out here. You know what I'm saying? The dude that got shot by the police down here in uh, Austin. That shit was like a block away from me. Bro, that shit can't happen to me, dog. For real. Because I'm protected by some shit that's worse than the fucking corona. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers fuck over me and get fucked over. And they thinking I'm the devil. No, you did me wrong. I ain't put no spell on your fuck ass. You cursed yourself. Because why? What the Bible say? They, the, 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 the cornerstone, the builders rejected? I know who I am. And so, everybody ain't going to understand that shit. Everybody ain't got the guts to fix their mouth and say that shit. That they are God. Or whatever. But if you're going to be a God, start acting like one. You know what I'm saying? Start acting like one. You done been a devil all your fucking life. Because all the trauma you done went through. Don't let your mind corrupt you. Don't let your past corrupt you. How long you going to let that shit keep eating you up? And I refuse, man. It's like I said years ago. I refused to die in my hometown. That's why I moved up out that bitch. You know what I'm saying? And now niggas act like they don't see me no more, right? But they watch. Y'all seen the post yesterday? I posted the video uh, up on uh, YouTube. Motherfucker, then it was right at almost 3,000 now. Shit, only two likes, right? But niggas watching, though. Niggas watching, though. And so... That's why I said I like people that don't need everybody to like them. I don't need everybody to like me. You know what I'm saying? Because the people that I thought that liked me and loved me, they walked out on me or or changed on me or never gave me my fucking credit, right? When I patted them on the back every time they won, whether they, you know, whether they, you know, seen it or not. I always meditating for my people. I always meditating for my people to, you know, become better. But if you're going to stay on that same level, you're a child of God. Instead of becoming the God that you are, the Christ that you are, then you ain't going to truly shine your light. You giving your light away. Giving your light away to people and to things that don't even fucking deserve you. This world don't deserve me. I know it. But I came here for a reason. To gain this human experience over the years. I done been, I done been through, you know, I done lived through every race. I, I, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said it's very important to, to tap in now. Get your fucking reading. Get you a reading. 
just to, you know what I'm saying, tap in. It got to be somebody that's really on this shit because anybody can, you know, tell you some shit that you want to hear, right? But they got to be able to tell you the shit, the other side that you, that you don't want to hear. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what she gave me, man. Gave me the shit that I, that basically I already knew and the shit that I already knew but didn't want to hear that shit. Because it's a way how you deliver it. Because, you know, most people, they come, they try to come at you and try to tell you some shit. But you don't know, I mean, you got to come at people the right way. Especially somebody that already on their shit and that's really, you know what I'm saying, really trying to better themselves. Like, how dare you try to tell me some shit a certain way, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's all about respect at the end of the day, man. And people feel like they, you know, they get close to you and they fucking know you. No, you don't know me. I'm down here still learning myself. I'm still learning about my myself. But people see you and they think they can just, just scope you out. Right? They think they can just know everything about you. They, you know, come in your life and, and think they got you all figured out. No, you don't. Cause there's some stuff that I, you know, don't, pers- you know, display to everybody. And so they would take it off as I'm, I'm cold or whatnot. Coworker, when I got in, cause I ain't been at work for about a damn near week, but I should still get paid. But uh, I just hit them up like, hey man, uh, just let me know if y'all need me. They went on and told me come in last night. So I went on in and he was like, man, you seem different. Like, no, nah, bro, I'm, you know, like you giving me a cold shoulder. Like, no, nah, bro, my mind just elevating and I'm not, my, my mind is elevating. So my mind ain't on the same shit as you. All you thinking about the shit is going on in the world. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Look at things like, okay, shit, I ain't gonna be here forever. My time ticking down too. So when it's time for me to go, I wanna be for sure like, hey, I ain't coming back. Cause I don't wanna be trapped to come back. Cause I still got earthly desires and shit that I feel like I didn't accomplish. Fuck all that shit. I done did it all. And that's what that reading showed me. Like, nigga, you was over there in China, nigga, whooping nigga's ass and, and she giving counsel like I'm doing now. And so I was like, okay. Because like I said, I've been seeing all this shit, but it's kind of hard to decipher this shit when you're dealing with psychedelics, right? Because you're getting so many images, your subconscious mind is is open all the way, so it's giving you so many images. Shit, well, I seen my whole lot, you know, all my lives flash by. And in the end, guess what? It was a happy ending, not no bad fucking ending. So when I be talking about the end of the world, niggas be scared and shit, because they thinking about a bad fucking ending. No. It ends how you want it to end. You die how you want to die. This shit. It's no coincidence. So when it's my time to leave, I set that up. If I want a sweet ending, a good happy and ever after, I got to set that up. But if I'm running around, holding all this shit in my heart, chakra, you know, holding grudges towards people, that's all they fucked up too, you got to forgive them. Because they don't know no damn better. Right? They fucked up too. So we have to accept that person for what they done to you. Because we know the saying, hurt people hurt people. So I guess all of us around this motherfucker hurt, right? Everybody say they, 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 they trying to heal. And you got to learn how to deal. That's what we talking about. Learn how to deal with your trauma. 
That's the best way that you heal. You can't heal by just speaking on the shit, how bad people done done you, how, how they did you this, how they did you that. Eventually, you just got to let that shit go. And you're going to see, you're going to see that energy just start rising up. You're going to be like, damn, you know what? I've been happy this whole time. I don't need none of this shit. If they don't want to be with me, I'm still happy. If my family don't love me, I'm still happy. If my friends don't fuck with me, I'm still happy. Because I got me. You got you. Because like I said, we all we got, but we don't even got, we don't even got each other. Why? Because we've been manipulated and taught to bash each other, do each other wrong. Because of somebody else or some other shit that happened to you. You know, we can talk about it all day. But you just got to learn how to deal with the trauma. And that's the way you're going to find your, your, your healing spot. You know what I'm saying? Your resting spot where your soul can just open up and blossom like it wants to. Shine that light. Shine that light. Like B.O.B. say, which one of y'all going to shine? Huh? Which one of y'all going to shine? It's all time. They fear the black planet coming back. Which one of y'all gonna shine? Which one of y'all gonna shine? Stop worrying about these celebrities. They already, they done already did their time. They done already did their time. It's our time. The real people that's been struggling, right? You talk about black pain, right? Now it's time to use that pain and turn it and manifest something positive instead of complaining about it all the time, right? Huh? Instead of complaining about it all the time. So, you can't, you can't fake the funk. Understand what you're looking at and realize this shit going to end how you want it to end. Your life going to end how you want it to end. The world going to end how you want it to end. And how I see it ending, everybody ain't going to make it into my world. And guess what? Don't, don't, don't try to, you know, hit me up and beg, you know, to come back. Once you see me on top, like the, like the celebrities you fucking worship, right? Like the celebrities they fucking worship, right? They think they got all the answers, right? Social media bullshit. They give it to us every day. Social media bullshit. So you got to just open your heart, open your eyes, and deal with the trauma. Because they, they, they just trying to fluff you up, man. That's it. Motherfuckers just trying to fluff you up and keep you distracted and keep you sleeping. So, all right, family, I can keep going all day, I promise you. But that's why I said, you know, I'm just, I'm feeling more of myself, man. Like I said, because it's, it's been hard, right? It's been truly hard to just be you and stop giving a fuck. Who cares about what they think? Who cares about what the fucking government got planned? Ultimately, they ain't got shit on you long as you write with your soul and you take your time and value your time right now. Value your time right now. See, I'm damn about to cry because, like I said, man, it's just, it's hard. It's hard. It hurt. So you got to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Time to, you know, time to do what we do. It's our time. But if we keep letting these people play with us, keep letting them uh, distract us, 
what Ken, what Ken Billion said, he said the next slavery gonna be a thousand years. And motherfuckers ain't even gonna know. They don't know they, they slaves now. Huh? They don't know they slaves now. Right? I'm looking at all of the shit that's, that's coming to me. I'm like, man, why this shit ain't ever... Why I'm just not finding about, about this shit? Because I wasn't privy to it, right? So as you elevating your consciousness and connect with your, your angel, your higher self, your God, you become wealthy. Right? You can you can get the things that all they got, all the celebrities got. Motherfuckers filthy rich. And what they doing for, you know, what they doing? What they doing with it? What they doing with it? Like my boy said, if I was like, if I was like, man, bro, what? Whole family would be said, even though I don't fuck with everybody. And even though I know they don't fuck with me like that. They'll still be set. So, it's keys that's being revealed, and we we got to get on it. Y'all seen the video last night, man. Brothers was bringing some fucking knowledge. Knowledge that's going to change your life. And I say, bro, I'm in, man. I say I got to focus on it and learn this shit and whew, thing is I already had a dream of all this shit I done already seen it all that's what I'm seeing and so that's why to me is this shit feeling like a fucking deja vu moment in a movie for real that's why I'm like bro the shit don't even surprise me right it's just the ego trying to trying to keep you know keep his power intact too and of course we all got ego because we all we all trapped in his body so you just got to learn how to deal with it balance that shit don't wake up every day on the same shit be grateful that you alive right be grateful if you still working right shit be grateful if you ain't working you got time to figure out a way to start your own business where you can, you know what I'm saying, be set. Because that's what it's about. Building your own economy. Becoming your own fucking president of your life. And stop fucking worrying about what Trump and them doing, right? This what it's all about. So you can become financially free, right? Huh, like brother said it last night, it's not many of us that make over thirty fucking thousand a year. Why? Cause they got it set up like that. And if you don't know the shit that they know, you gonna stay working for somebody for the rest of your life. Slavery. You just getting paid what they wanna pay you. But you building the fucking company, right? We are the government. The motherfuckers in the White House, they, ain't, they they not the government. We running the shit. So if they do open up everything, you think about that. So I'm looking at my checks now like, shit, I'm done bullshitting. Because like I was saying in the last time, been been feeling like I owe motherfuckers, right? Stop trying to save everybody. Some of these motherfuckers need to drown. This world don't deserve you. Huh? Some of these motherfuckers don't want to be saved. They want a savior, right? They ain't, they ain't trying to become their own savior. Huh? You got to accept that. Can't save everybody. That's just the Christ in you, right? You got the true, true Christ in you, right? But you can't save everybody, man. Save yourself. Save yourself. And those that's around you, hey. Hey. They either in it or not. They either gonna be, you know, 
with you or not. Judas traded on so-called Jesus, right? Well, basically the whole disciples, right? They all said they ain't know that nigga what he was going to get, get killed. <laughs> For real. Right? So we have to see things from our perspective, zone in this shit, but also, you know, don't take this shit serious, people. Please. Because this shit gonna drive you crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna drive you crazy. And it's a lot of people going crazy. <laughs> Man, I think bananas, right? <laughs> Motherfuckers don't know what to do. They twerking and goddamn slurping and everything. <laughs> I lost their damn mind, right? But I found my mind when I lost it and realized, nigga, I was crazy. I found my soul, right? When I realized I was manipulating my whole life. It's not my people's fault, right? They ain't, they ain't teaching me the things that I was supposed to be taught because they didn't know. They ain't leave me a damn thing, right? And the things they left me was material, right? But we talking about being able to set a foundation for the next generation that comes after us. Because we're talking about gen generation that comes after us, right? Because that's who's going to be going through the Savior the most. They're going to be in it and not know. They're going to be in the matrix deeper than, than we are. Because we just got social media and phones and shit. Once they bring out the real toys, people are going to be smelling sleep forever, man. Said the next slavery a thousand years. And we still worried about the 400 years. The other slavery. All that shit is over with. So we got to step up to our power family. As Nazir Ra says, I say it all the time, man. We got to step up to our power. So we can build the new Black Wall Street, right? They tore it down because they knew if we would have kept that shit going back then, everybody would have been scraped. All our people would have been scraped, right? Wouldn't no families be hurt. Wouldn't no, it wouldn't be no broken, broken homes right now. Because we, you know, we gave them all our power. And so, it's time to take back our power, take back our souls, especially take back our souls. Got so many people out here snatching people's souls, right? Because they hurt. They butt hurt. They butt hurt. So you want to take somebody else's soul, put them through hell. So, and I thank all the motherfuckers that freed me, right? Because I was attached to a lot of motherfuckers. Now I'm attached to my higher self, right? I'm attached to spirituality. That's my, that's my way to get through this shit. But I still need to learn, learn things that's of this world so I can, like I said, I can build my own economy, become my own president and govern my own life. Build, you know, my dream, my vision. But I can't do that if I'm holding back. Because I'm holding on to trauma, you know, holding on to attachments. Don't want to let certain shit go. So that is the message for today. Y'all make sure y'all hit that cash, y'all, man. Y'all make sure y'all keep supporting it, man. Uh, to the uh, 
family that was talking about, because I know they was talking about uh, wanting me to talk about the uh, deal with Red Pill and them was talking about last night. And you just basically got to do your research because I can't convince you, you know what I'm saying? If you want to change your life, I can't convince you to, you know, to want to better yourself so you can become a trillionaire, right? So you can become one of the one percenters. Because these motherfuckers ain't hurt, you know? They ain't hurt, you know? Because I'm looking around, I say, damn, all these motherfuckers moved out, man. Where the hell they go? They already got other places to stay, right? Little islands and shit they can go stay on. We the only people that still, you know, still ain't got nowhere to go. Niggas talking about going out the country and shit. I'm thinking about it too. But before I can even do that, I got to get my motherfucking trauma right before I go any, anywhere out this country. Because it's more harder. Why? Because we was, we was born here. Other countries don't run like America does. You know, we, we, we had so much freedom, or so-called freedom, the illusion of it anyway, when more other countries are more strict on certain things, how they run their country. <clears throat> That's why you got to get a visa and uh, go through all kind of different down things just to, you know, live in another country when you're American versus they can come over here. Shit, no problem. Send them a big check, gonna go on start you your business, and shit, we barely can get a goddamn, you know what I'm saying, goddamn payday loan, right? <laughs> we barely can get a payday loan when we walk with that motherfucker, let alone a goddamn business loan or a car loan. <laughs> so, yeah, family, we right almost up here at the hour mark, so. I just wanted to run there with with the family today, man. It's okay to trauma bond, but don't let this shit crutch you like that, right? Don't let this shit put a crutch on you and handicap your ass where you get so used to these goddamn government checks. Cause like I said, there's some people that's they loving it, right? You know what I'm saying? Especially the people that's married, see. They for to get that 4,000, then they little kid 16 up, they for to get their own little, you know what I'm saying, a little baby stimulus, <laughs> a little baby stimulus check, Trump name on that bitch, <laughs> right? <laughs> this shit is like a movie, bro. And so they playing with our fucking intelligence. But don't let that shit play with your emotions, is what I'm saying today, y'all. Don't let your trauma and all this shit play with your emotions. Use your intelligence, your your intellect, what they call it, right? Use your third eye, your your heart, man. Use that shit. Instead of wasting time and energy on it. Reverse that shit. Right? That's why I was saying, if these motherfuckers send me that 10 racks, she, she, boy, gonna set that shit back, <laughs> go off grid, <laughs> fuck around and be in Brazil, <laughs> sipping a goddamn pina colada around this thing. <laughs> and she, this gonna be like, damn, where Nick went, man? Shit, that nigga done went over there and got him a bazillion good she get. Said he tired of fucking with these American women, right? They brainwash. They brainwash. Give them everything, right? Now, there's some good women out there. But they hurt. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> 
they hurt, man. And they ain't trying to fuck with no nigga, man. For real. They ain't trying to fuck with no nigga. And it goes the same way with some dudes. They hurt. They hurt, man. Them talking about heart hurt. Niggas say they me time, man. Me ain't going they own. <laughs> me ain't going their own way, right? And yeah, so, man, sometimes you just got to laugh about this shit, man. You got to find a way to laugh about this shit and not take it so serious. But at the same time, know that time is the only thing that's essential right now. And if you're wasting your time not trying to figure out what you're going to do, government going to take care of you. They're gonna keep. They're gonna take care of you and your family, right? And you just gonna be a just gonna be another slave for a thousand years. Your your whole generation, another thousand years of slavery. Your whole generation. Think about that shit. But this this ain't gonna be the physical. This gonna be the mental. Niggas taking that chip now. <laughs> Niggas taking the chip now, like, what? Shit, I go back to work? <laughs> we talk about over country. I don't really know. Across country now. Motherfuckers taking that chip right now. So who cares? That's them. We ain't gonna worry about the bullshit. We building our own country. We gonna build our own, you know, we gonna rebuild the country and build our own way of living, a new way of living, where we ain't got to worry about this shit when something like this happen again. <laughs> For your kids and your family, happens every hundred years. So, peace family, y'all already know, man. Like I said, I try to be peaceful, but it's just hard, man. Please don't hit me up if you just want to talk about your problems and the drama of the world. That shit don't phase me no more. Like I said, I'm just out here blending in. Because, you know, the energy's so high, you know what I'm saying? It's like a nigga ready to murk anything that get out of line. And the people that know me, I'm not like that, right? I always been a cool, you know, humble dude. But now the warrior spirit raising up in me, I gots to go hard. Gots to go hard. You know, gots to go hard. I'm just trying to make it so all my people can win. Even though they dislike me, right? Because I don't want to be understood. I ain't looking for new, new friends. You know, especially if you ain't on on the path or trying to get on it. Because I don't force nobody. But that's what they say, right? You try to push it on them, you trying to force it. So, yeah, family, appreciate y'all timing in. Uh, Make sure you hit the like button, share this video. Somebody need to hear this fucking message. And it's not really a message. It's really our fucking common sense. That is our true common sense that's coming back to us. But if we keep thinking like the white man want us to think, or, or whatever you want to call it, we gonna stay in the same position. So, just something to think about as we get ready to roll into this new month. It's time to switch some things up. Stop waking up, doing the same thing, thinking the same way, worried about this bullshit every day. Like Big Bro say, you know, you're going to stay broke. You're going to stay, you know, stay broke. We post it, we post it, you know, we own this shit, right? That's what we say, right? We done created everything, right? 
You say the black woman is black woman and black man is God, right? When we gonna start acting like it? When we gonna step up to our power? All right, family, that's my time. I said I've been at it all day. Got off and uh, basically still getting paid to nine. So it's a blessing, right? I'm grateful. I'm not going to complain about it, right? Because before all of this shit really broke down, I'm work- I was working 70 fucking hours a week. Huh? Doing my thing. Doing my thing. But now I see things different. Now I got opportunities placed in front of me where, shit, about to be rich, bitch. <laughs> For real, though. And everybody everybody couldn't go with me. Why? Because cause they seen it in me, but they thought it was going to happen fast. They thought this shit was going to happen overnight. No, this shit takes time, cuz. And... Back to what we saying. The only thing that's essential right now is your time. Take that time and utilize that shit to the fullest. Whether it's just 30 minutes to an hour, you researching on something that something that you didn't know that can help you, you know what I'm saying, have more stability, extra money coming in. Cause we all broke. Motherfuckers can play their role. Like that. I guess that's what I was talking about earlier. Motherfuckers can play their role. <laughs> but we all broke and broken. Until you learn how to deal. Until you find out, you know, what you missing. Why you fucked up the way you are. You got greatness in you. We gotta pull that shit out. You gotta pull that shit out. You got a million, a trillion dollars. In your mind, like Nino Brown said, right? You got to dig that shit out. One idea. Fuck it. Don't nobody want to get in, invested with you or believe in you? Believe in yourself. Only you can save you. All right, family. Check y'all out next time, man. Been a good podcast. Really, really... Really good one, man. Like I said, I ain't going to lie to you. But I just had to get that off my chest for the, you know, for the new people that's coming, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody don't know. I don't mind chopping it up with y'all. That's why I do this. You know, it's my call. But I got to step it up, right? But we all got to step it up. Because we all, we all we got. But if we don't got each other, we all separated and segregated. But all you got is you at the end of the day. And the people that's there for you. Fuck everybody else. So peace, fam. Y'all have a good one, man. Enjoy y'all day. Blessings.